So Leonardo.ai released some cool, amazing features that you don't want to miss out. So yeah, we're going to talk about how you can do consistent correctors in Leonardo.ai. And also we're going to discuss the new release transparency mode feature in Leonardo.ai, discuss its use cases and how good it is. So yeah, now let's not waste any time and jump right into the video. All right, guys. So here I am in my Leonardo.ai. So first of all, if you talk about how you can create consistent characters in Leonardo.ai. So that is a really interesting because, you know, previously we used to see that in like maybe stable diffusion models, mid journey, which was really, really popular, you guys. And yeah, now I figured out a way you can do that exactly same in Leonardo.ai for absolutely free. Okay. So yeah, for that, you need to go ahead and go to the image generation section. And after that, there are a few things you need to make sure that uh, the photoreal and alchemy option is turned on. So yeah, uh, in the previous videos, most of you guys were wondering like how you can have this on for your free version. So that is really easy. You need to make sure that your Leonardo.ai, like you are using the fresh account. Okay, so you should have a, your new a Gmail ID and you should be using Leonardo.ai for the first time with that Gmail ID, right? So your account should be fresh for that. So the photoreal and alchemy option should be turned on. And after that, you need to select your input dimensions at 512 into 768 because obviously we'll be looking for some kind of a consistent cell for our AI influencers. So for that, this, you know, aspect ratio will work absolutely fine. And then in the advanced controls, you need to make sure uh, that it is turned on. Okay. So first of all, uh, right off the bat, uh, you need to go ahead and type in your prompt for your image generation. So I've done portrait of a wide female Instagram model blue eyes, gray hair, photorealistic aesthetics. So you don't need to like, you know, follow any prompt formula that we did earlier. You just need to provide the features, uh, the details of your model that you're looking for, like portrait of a white female Instagram model, blue eyes, gray hair, photorealistic aesthetic. And for that, it provided me these results. So yeah, these look really, really good, right? So yeah, uh, this is completely AI generating and the results are absolutely fantastic, right? So now comes the important part, like how uh, you can go ahead and create consistent style with Leonardo.ai. So for that, uh, you need to go to uh, this parameter section once again, click on show advanced settings. So this will open a few more options and you need to make sure that you use your fixed seed. Okay, so you need to turn this on. And now with the help of the seed of these images, You'll copy the seed, paste it into your fixed seed. And after that, whatever images you will generate, you will have consistent character in those images. Like how cool is that? Okay. So yeah, uh, first of all, you need to go ahead and copy seed by clicking on this copy seed. So this will copy the seed of these images. Come to your fixed seed, paste your seed right over here. All right, it's done. And after that, you can go ahead and now create more variations for your Leonardo.ai. Okay. So Let's just say after that, I can simply provide at beach happy, click on generate. So yeah, it has basically provided me these variations, like take a look at this, right? So this was our uh, reference image that the model that we created and out of that, so it provided me these results. So you guys can see that like the consistent characters uh, for the fixes is working absolutely fine, right? So yeah, now let's just go ahead and create a few more variations. And after aesthetic, I can just simply type at hotel lobby posing full body shot okay now uh, all right again our seed is gonna be the same i'm i can go ahead and copy seed once again paste it into that once again all right this looks good now let's just go ahead and generate this and see how our output is gonna look all right so take a look at the results wow these are absolutely perfect so this was our reference image right over here you guys can see and for that it provided me like these outputs so you guys can see like the consistent character feature yeah it's showing off it's working absolutely perfect right so now if i can go ahead and try to generate few more uh, variations for our ai influencer so i can go ahead and edit again after uh, the aesthetic one so i'm gonna go ahead and say Add studio, a uh, modeling and black dress. So let's just go ahead and see uh, what output we're gonna get for that, right? All right, wow. So check it out, guys. This looks really, really good. Like this was a reference image and for that. Wow, like the consistent character style, like, you know, it's really up to the mark. Like it's showing its class in Leonardo.ai. Like check out the results. Like this looks absolutely perfect, like to the point, right? 
So yeah, uh, this is how uh, you can go ahead and, you know, just create consistent characters in Leonardo AI for absolutely free. And you can create as many variations as you want. You can choose between cityscape, steampunk, any design, anywhere, like any variation for your Instagram account for your AI influencer, right? All right, so another cool feature about Leonardo.ai is now you can go ahead and get access to transparency mode, you know, in which you can generate transparent PNG images and much more, okay? So yeah, you guys can see uh, from this example, like now you don't have to remove background from another uh, third-party AI tools. Leonardo.ai can really help you with that. So you can go ahead and use that for different things such as logos, stickers, and prints, yeah? Without further ado, let's just test this out. All right, so for using the new transparency mode, you need to go ahead and go to image generation. And here you can see right over here, now we have the option of transparency. So if you take a look, so it says, generate images with transparent background, avoid specifying a background in your prompt for best results. Okay, so you don't need to provide like, you know, remove background for this, this, this in your prompt. You just need to type in your symbol from like, not recommended for use with Leonardo Diffusion Excel. So another cool tip about this feature is, you need to make sure that your prompt is as much concise as possible, all right? So you don't need to provide like long prompts uh, with all the details. So your prompt should be really, really concise, okay? So yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and enable this transparency mode and disable photoreal and alchemy, okay? Because obviously we're creating stickers, logos, and we don't want uh, these options in that purpose, okay? So first of all, let's just go ahead and create logos and see how it will perform in transparency mode, okay? So I'm gonna go ahead and say logo for a green tech company, Ecotech. Let's just generate and see the result. All right, so here we go, guys. Now we have four generations. So yeah, the naming Ecotech didn't come out as good, but you guys can see we have the transparent logo. This is the second one. We have no background in these logos. You guys can clearly see. So yeah, uh, this is the new feature of Leonardo.ai. Yeah, let's take one more example. I'm gonna go ahead and say vintage style logo for a bakery. Okay, let's just generate and see the output. All right, so here we go. Now we have some cool logos for our vintage style bakery. So yeah, you guys can see uh, we have transparent background. So yeah, uh, right off the bat, you can use uh, these logos for anything you want. Like the last one, this looks really, really good, right? So yeah, now let's just go ahead and try to generate some stickers with the transparency mode and see how it turns out, okay? So I'm gonna type in my prompt that a sticker of a cute cat with sunglasses. Let's generate this. All right, so take a look at these stickers. Wow, this looks absolutely perfect, like, so yeah, we have the bag removed of a very cool sticker of a cute cat with sunglasses. Like, take a look at this one and this one, right? This looks really, really good. All right, let's take uh, one more example. So I'm gonna go ahead and go simple. I'm gonna say, a sticker of a laughing emoji with tears. Uh, let's just see how this turns out. Wow, so check out the example. So we have a sticker of a laughing emoji with tears. So yeah, uh, this is the second one. This is the third one. And then we have the fourth one. So yeah, this looks absolutely perfect. Now let's just go ahead and try to create some prints uh, with the transparency mode and see how it looks. So I'm gonna say a print of a cute animal doing yoga. Let's just generate this and see the results. All right, so take a look at the results. Okay, this looks uh, quite decent. All right, this image is good. Uh, the third one, I'm not sure about this one, but yeah, the last one. Yeah, so yeah, the prints are really, really good, right? Let's just take one last example. So I'm gonna go ahead and say a print of a colorful mandala pattern. Okay, let's just generate and see the results for that as well. All right, so check out the results for a parade of a colorful uh, mandala pattern. So yeah, you guys can see we have a clear background for all of these patterns, except for this one, I'm not sure why. But yeah, the rest of the three images, yeah, these look really, really good. So there you have it, guys. This was uh, the exploration of Leonardo.ai, some new amazing cool features of that. So yeah, I hope you liked this video and I'll see you in some other one. Until then, take care. Bye-bye.